Want to speak real Polish from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at polishpod101.com. Here are five reasons to learn a language. Number one, more opportunities. A new language can open up many new doors. You're able to work in countries other than your own. Tons of employers look to hire multilingual professionals every year. Number two, meeting new people. Get to know speakers of other languages on a more personal level. Meeting new people is one of the main reasons people begin to study a language. Making new friends is a good enough reason to start studying. Number three, exploring a different culture. Whether you decide to live abroad or you're just taking a vacation, knowing the local language will allow you to better understand the people. This can open your eyes to not only their country, but your country as well. Learn how people view your home from their perspective. Number four, health benefits. Studying a new language actually comes with health benefits. Keep your brain sharp by studying every day. You'll be helping your mind fight off old age and stay fresh. Number five, discover you can do it. We've heard every excuse that people give for failing to learn a new language. Too old, not enough time, wrong genes. But you shouldn't let your excuses hold you back. You really can learn another language. You could even hold your first conversation just a few days from now. Don't make any more excuses. How to fight language learning failure. You're going to learn, one, why people fail at learning a language, two, the two questions smart learners ask themselves so they can succeed, and three, proven ways to overcome language learning failure. How to fight language learning failure. Let's jump into the first part. One, what is language learning failure? Just to be clear, failure is quitting or giving up. Learning at a very slow pace, taking a break, making pronunciation mistakes, or failing a language test are not real failures. So don't worry. Real failure is when you quit completely. So what causes failure? Simply put, weak spots and pain points. What do I mean by that? Think about it. If you're learning a language, you're probably aware of your weak spots. For example, most beginners can read, but can't speak well. So not speaking as well as you hoped. That's a weak spot or a pain point for you. Others have problems with motivation, no time. They don't stick with resources and jump from one to another. Or maybe they have trouble sticking with goals. Leave a comment right now and tell me what your weak spot is. Whatever it is, if you don't address it now, this weak spot or pain point may become the reason you fail. And if you think about it, most people quit directly because of these pain points. No time, no motivation, can't stick to goals, not fun enough, or they're just not speaking as well as they dreamed. So they quit on their dream. But you're a smart language learner. So what should you do differently? Part two, the two questions smart learners ask themselves so they can succeed. Just a quick warning, if you're happy with your learning routine or if you've just started, you don't have to ask these two questions now, but you will need them later. Here they are. You should ask, one, what are my weak points? And two, what am I going to do about them? So let's do the first one. One, what are my weak points? And the answers to this question are fairly common. Not enough time, not enough motivation, can't speak the language well, I can't stick to goals, I can't stick to a resource and I tend to jump around. So answer this question. Once you've identified your needs and problems, ask yourself the second question. Two, what am I going to do about them? Pay close attention here because this question is what separates the successful language learners from the rest. Everyone knows their weak points. And yes, it's good to identify problems, but it's much more important to have solutions because it's one thing to spot problems and feel smart, but it's another thing to actually take action and fix them. So that's where the real smarts are. How do you take action? What are some learning tactics that actually work? Part three, ways to beat language learning failure. Let's attack some common weak spots that cause people to fail and quit. By the end, you'll start to see how to resolve common problems. You'll come up with your unique approaches 
and you'll get into the habit of coming up with solutions. So, one common weak spot is, you're low on time. If you're low on time, the easiest thing you can do is learn for only five minutes a day. Set a timer, listen to a lesson, and shut it off after five minutes. This will help you get used to learning. And at some point, you'll want to increase your time. That's why our lessons are three to 15 minutes long, to make learning easy and to make it so time is not an issue. Another thing you can do is learn on the go with our free app. If you're on the train, at the gym, or walking to a store, you can transform this dead time into learning time and learn a bit of language. Be sure to download our Innovative Language 101 app for free on the App Store or Google Play. You're low on motivation. Next, if you're low on motivation, maybe you'd do better with a teacher, someone who will interact with you and encourage you to succeed. You can learn with one with our Premium Plus program. You can't speak well. If speaking is your weak point, the best thing to do here is just practice more. If you're taking our lessons, read the lesson dialogue out loud. Reading out loud is the quick and easy way to practice speaking on your own. Or write down or memorize a lesson dialogue and practice it out loud three times a day for a week. You can't stick with goals. If you can't stick with a five minute a day routine, then maybe you need someone else to take charge and teach you. So you should get a teacher or join an actual language class where you have no choice but to show up. You don't know enough grammar. If you want to learn grammar, take our audio lessons on the site. In every lesson, you'll get a conversation. Afterward, our teachers explain every word and grammar rule used inside. So you actually get to see how the grammar is used instead of just reading about rules. You can also use learning pathways to get courses and lessons that are specifically dedicated to improving your grammar. These are just a few ways to address your weak spots and pain points. There's a lot more we can cover, but the most important thing you need to remember is to ask yourself, what are my weak points? And what am I going to do about them? Asking and acting on that second question is what will put you on a track to fluency and will help you avoid language learning failure. So, what are your weak points? What are you going to do about them? The top four language learning fears, according to our users. Number one, I'm not good enough to start speaking yet. This is a pretty common fear or misconception that most learners have. Here's how you overcome it. The best way to get good at speaking is to start speaking from day one. You need to open your mouth and just start talking. If you think you're not good enough, just focus on the lines you want to say. Number two, I'm afraid I'll never be fluent. You've got to set small, specific goals. Make daily goals, like having just a five minute conversation. As these small goals add up, you'll be speaking more comfortably. Number three, I'm not making any progress. There are two things you can do right now. Use the dashboard to track your progress. Our dashboard shows how much you've accomplished. Or try a harder lesson on our website. The lessons come with line-by-line -line translations, and the hosts explain everything. Now you can understand something you didn't minutes ago. Number four, I'm afraid of not understanding anything I hear. This fear can occur when you hear advanced grammar and vocabulary, and it just goes completely over your head. To beat this, Simply read along with our line-by-line -line tool. It's the best way to instantly understand advanced conversations. Translations and scripts are right in front of you. For real-life situations, learn useful phrases such as, can you say it more slowly? I don't understand. There's nothing wrong with saying that you didn't understand something. A brutally honest way to improve your language. You're going to learn one, why tests are actually crucial for language progress, and two, how you can put yourself to the test. So, if you're learning on your own and feel like you're not making any learning progress, it's likely you're taking it too easy. You're not reaching your full potential. So, an outside motivator, like a test, can and will fire you up and help you get better. You'll discover how in just a second. A brutally honest way to improve your language. So, if you're learning a language on your own, do you ever feel like you're just coasting through without making real progress? Then it's possible that you're taking it a bit too easy. So, what should you do? 
Part 1. Why tests are crucial for language progress. The quick answers are 1. Tests give you an honest assessment of your language skills, and 2. Motivation. But let's break these down in full. If you've ever enrolled in a language school or taken a language class, you've probably taken a placement test. Based on your results, the teachers place you into an appropriate class. So tests can help you learn what's appropriate for your level. Tests also allow for ongoing assessment through things like weekly quizzes and tests every month. So what's the big deal with tests and quizzes? Even though some of us don't like tests, tests can give you honest assessments of your language skills in specific ways. For example, if you fail the listening part of a test, you know your weakness is there. If you forget a grammar pattern, you know you need to practice it more. But if you're learning alone, you might not get many testing opportunities. And you may not be aware of mistakes you're making in your studies right now. You don't know what pieces you might be missing. Tests can give you opportunities to check your actual language skills, and sometimes they give you a brutal reality check. Now, the second benefit of tests is motivation. Think about it. As a self-learner, no one else is going to push you to do your best, and most people like to take it easy. So if you're wondering why you're not fluent yet, but you've been coasting along, learning words here and there, without actually testing your limits, consider that it might be because you haven't actually been testing and pushing yourself at all. Tests can give you that push, that challenge, that urgency to improve, that motivation. There's a specific date and time for the test. You have to be ready by that deadline. Just think back to the night before a test. You felt the urgency back then. You were motivated to pass. So this is exactly why a lot of self-learners take proficiency tests. It gives them something to aim for, something to be motivated about, something to achieve. Now, tests are not the complete answer to language learning, but they do give you a way to assess yourself and they give you a challenge. So, what can you do as a self-learner? Part 2. How you can put yourself to the test. Before you worry about failing, recognize that it's not about passing or failing. It's about getting an honest assessment of your progress. The first and most obvious thing you can do is sign up for a language proficiency test. There are many kinds of proficiency tests available, so you can pick the right one for you. Signing up will put you under added pressure and give you extra motivation to improve. This is something that's hard to do on your own. Second, if you're a Premium Plus member on our website, then you can get weekly assignments that put you to the test. These assignments are graded and you get feedback from your teacher so you know what to do to improve and how. The third thing you can do is come back and review. Once you're done with a lesson or a pathway, download the dialogue tracks and review them at a later date. See how much you can understand. This tests your listening, plus your vocab and grammar. For speaking, record yourself with our voice recording tool and compare yourself to the native pronunciation. Remember, you can always self-test by coming back and seeing how much you understand. The fourth thing you can do is test yourself with a harder lesson. Think of it as trying to lift a heavier weight at the gym to see if you can do it. You can do this for reading, speaking, and listening. Simply go to a higher level, like intermediate or advanced, and try a lesson. With reading, you can also try our higher level extensive reading books. Again, remember, with all of this, the goal here is not a pass or fail result. The goal is to get an honest assessment of your language skills, what you know and what you don't know. If you realize that you're mispronouncing a certain word, you'll know how to correct it. If you can understand only 50% of a lesson, well, that means you should review it until you get to 100%. If you don't understand a lesson dialogue at all, which is where most people get intimidated, make it a goal to master the dialogue. Give yourself a goal to aim for. And if you can't read as smoothly as you had hoped, all it means is that you should give it a few more tries until you're better. Can you really learn a new language all alone? Learning a language without traditional classroom instruction may seem quite daunting at first. What if you run into questions? How do you stay on track and motivated to achieve your goals? Don't worry. Not only is it possible to learn any language without traditional classroom instruction, we have created an advanced and extensive online language learning system to help you do just that. It's designed to help you learn a language on your own and is faster, more convenient, and less expensive than traditional classroom options. Here are three reasons to learn a language alone. Number one, learn at your own pace and on your own schedule. 
In today's fast-paced world, there isn't always time for traditional classroom instruction. But when you learn alone, you can study anywhere and any time that suits your schedule best. It makes it far easier to actually reach your goal of learning and mastering the language. Number two, learning a language on your own can reduce stress and anxiety. In traditional classroom settings, there are pop quizzes, tests, and presentations in front of classmates. While it's valuable to learn public speaking skills and to be able to perform under pressure, for some people, these classroom pressures are a big hurdle for their language learning dreams. Learning alone, however, removes these stressors. Learning outside of a traditional classroom setting can help reduce some of the stress you may feel, and you can work towards your goals all on your own. Number three, learning alone can help improve cognitive function. While classroom settings often require learners to spend lots of time memorizing information and following instructions, studying a language on your own requires you to problem solve so that you can self-teach and hit your goals. You'll also need to be strict with yourself and stick to a regular study schedule. So yes, in some ways, learning a language on your own can be more challenging than learning in a traditional classroom setting. But teaching yourself a language pays dividends throughout life. In addition to learning a language, you'll also learn time management and problem-solving skills. These are skills that will aid you when social and professional opportunities arise. So, how do you actually learn a language on your own? Number one, access our huge collection of audio and video lessons. Ideally, you want audio and or video lessons that teach vocabulary, grammar, and provide actual conversations and dialogue in your target language to help you with real pronunciation. We have hundreds of hours of HD audio and video lessons on our website, created by professional teachers and actors to help you achieve perfect pronunciation. Plus, all lessons can be accessed 24-7 via any device with internet access. Number two, learning paths with courses based upon your exact needs and goals. Simply tell us your goals and we will identify the best courses and study plan to help you reach them in the shortest time possible. Even though you are technically learning a language on your own, our team is always here to help and make sure you reach your goals fast. Number three, use advanced learning tools. When you have the right tools and learning resources, it's actually easy to teach yourself a language. Over the last 10 years, we've developed, tested, and refined more than 20 advanced learning tools. These tools aim to boost retention and reduce learning time. How to write 1,000 words in your target language in five minutes a day. First, we'll look at the super simple tactic for practicing writing. Second, the language learning benefits of writing. And third, we'll learn how to write 1,000 words with a free study tool. How to write 1,000 words in your target language in five minutes a day. So, what's the best way to practice writing and improve? The language learning technique we'll talk about today is very simple, copying and writing lines into a notebook. This is easy to implement and will take you only five minutes. So let's talk about what makes this technique so powerful. First, it's super easy to do. Copying out lines, say from a textbook or an article, takes no thinking whatsoever, no writer's block. You don't have to worry about what to write. If you want to practice writing, this is the easiest thing to do. You can do it any time of day. It's a skill you can practice on your own. Second, writing helps you retain information. Why? Because the more you interact with the language, the better you remember it. So when writing out words, you're focused on them and you're reading them at the same time. This helps the information stick in your mind. Third, you learn new words, phrases, and grammar indirectly. If you come across new words as you practice with this technique, writing them out will help you remember them. Fourth, you indirectly improve your speaking and reading skills as well. By copying out lines, including lines with new words and phrases, you improve other areas of the language, not just writing. Fifth, it's valuable language output practice. You need equal amounts of input, reading and listening, and output, speaking and writing, to truly master a language. Writing is the perfect way to practice output. And sixth, Imitate great writers by copying out what your favorite writers have written, word for word. By doing this, you get inspired and you get used to a certain style of writing. And the same goes for language, you get used to it. 
So, how do you apply these tactics? What can you do? Write 1,000 words with our free study tool. Now, we're not suggesting you write 1,000 words in one day. Rather, you can do it in one month by spending five minutes a day. So, here's how. First, download the free Daily Dose of Language app for the iPhone, iPad, or Android. Why? You'll get a free mini lesson daily with text that you can copy out. You'll also get daily reminders about your lessons, so this will keep you on track. Find a new lesson every day. Today might be a phrase. Tomorrow may be a culture lesson. Then, a grammar lesson. But with each one, you'll get sample sentences. You'll receive a daily reminder telling you a new lesson is available. Open up the lesson, read through it, and copy out the sample sentences. And that's it. You're done for the day. This takes five minutes or less. The next day, repeat the process. Open up the free lesson and copy out the lines. To reach 1,000 words in one month, you need to write about 35 words a day. It's as simple as copying the lines. Through this, you'll learn more words and phrases and will practice grammar. It will help you to remember the things you've already studied. You'll directly improve your writing skills and will indirectly improve your reading and speaking skills. You can do all of this with the free daily lessons sent by the Daily Dose app. It'll keep you on track with daily reminders. You can apply this tactic with any other resource too, whether it's your own textbook or online articles. You can also use our lesson notes or the dialogue study tool. Give it a try and let us know how it works out. Three reasons you're never too old to learn a language, and you'll also learn three ways our learning system can help people of all ages to study efficiently. Number one, seniors have better focus. Learning a new language in your 50s or 60s may actually be easier than learning as a teenager or young adult. More mature adults can better focus on the details necessary to master a new language. Older people are also often more dedicated to their goals and put more work into achieving them. Seniors are better able to focus on completing lessons and reaching goals. There are a lot of distractions out there these days for young people. There's everything from Facebook to Instagram and all the usual drama of daily life at work and at school. Seniors are typically less concerned with these kinds of things and are better at focusing on tasks until completion. This is extremely important for language study, where regular practice and attention to detail are key. Not only are you never too old to learn, you may have some advantages over younger learners. Our language learning program has a number of special tools to make learning a new language in your 50s or 60s easy. You'll use the same resources as a tech-savvy teenager. Number two, learning is vital to healthy and happy living. Learning is actually vital to your health. Doing things like playing word games, doing puzzles, and even using online platforms like Luminosity do help keep the mind nimble. But nothing compares to learning a second language in terms of health benefits for your mind. Learning another language may be one of the very best retirement hobbies you can pick up. You can also apply your second language knowledge when you travel. Number three, there are health benefits to learning new things after the age of 60. Learning a second language increases the number of neural pathways in the brain. Forging these new neural pathways helps you code and sort the new language you are learning. In addition, there are other brain health benefits associated with learning a new language. Here's a list of benefits bilingual people can enjoy. Higher overall general intelligence, better memory and memorization skills, better perception of surroundings, better focus, concentration, and attention to detail. So in a very real way, learning a new language is one of the best and most practical retirement hobbies you can find because it helps protect against cognitive decline as you age. Now let's talk about how our language learning program has methods to make sure you can start learning in your 50s, 60s, and beyond. Number one, we have an intuitive, easy to use system. Learning an old age doesn't have to be hard or irritating. It can and should be fun. From your very first lesson, we'll make sure you're speaking fluently every day. You can start and stop each lesson as many times as you want. Study when you want, where you want, and at the pace you decide. Number two, you'll find special tools to boost retention and performance. As we mature, learning to use the right tools is vital to getting jobs done fast and right. 
So we make it easier than ever to make learning in old age fun and rewarding with a wide range of tools to boost retention and performance, including spaced repetition flashcards, so you can learn vocab fast, line-by-line -line audio transcripts, so you can read along with each lesson, pronunciation and accent review, instructor lesson notes, review quizzes, 2,000 core words, enough for fluency. You are truly never too old to learn with more than 20 tools and resources to help boost learning and performance. Number three, you'll get support every step of the way. Although you may never be too old to learn, it doesn't hurt to have a little help along the way. Our language learning system has helped thousands of seniors learn and master a new language with help and support at every step. We offer 24-7 assistance. Just send us an email. We have dedicated language experts standing by to help you with any problem or issue you may be experiencing. There is also instructor feedback. Have specific questions about a lesson or your progress? You can directly email instructors and get direct responses to any question you may have about your studies or lessons. Or try studying with your very own instructor. Members of our exclusive Premium Plus plan not only get a custom curriculum tailored to their very own goals, they also gain access to their very own language instructor. Learning in old age isn't just a luxury, it's crucial to helping avoid the onset of Alzheimer's, dementia, and other age-related cognitive issues. Specifically, learning another language helps increase overall intelligence and improve awareness, memory, and overall cognitive function. So not only are you never too old to learn a new language for health reasons, it's a great way to meet new people and start adventures. Seven minutes and seven seconds to language learning success. You're going to learn one, the seven minute, seven second rule to language learning success. Two, why seven minutes and seven seconds is all you need to get started with a language. And three, how you can apply it to your learning. So do you have a hard time sticking with the language learning routine? Are you jumping around from one resource to another and not really continuing with any of them? If you're having a hard time being consistent with a language learning routine, the seven minute, seven second rule could be for you. Seven minutes and seven seconds to language learning success. Okay, so what's the seven minute, seven second rule to language learning success? First, let me explain where this tactic comes from. A lot of you might relate. Have you ever had a bit of free time and gone to YouTube to see what's new? You play a video and just keep going and going, watching the recommended videos and other things of interest. It's really easy to get sucked in, right? Imagine you finally stop watching after a really terrible video that's seven minutes and seven seconds long. Have you ever suddenly realized how much time you've wasted and thought, what is this? What am I doing with my time? You've just been sitting there watching videos. Yes, although the final video was just seven minutes and seven seconds, think of the total amount of time wasted watching all those videos. It's a lot. This is where the seven minutes and seven seconds idea comes from. If you have seven minutes and seven seconds to watch YouTube, you have seven minutes and seven seconds to learn a language. Now, you might be thinking, this isn't enough time, or you won't make a real dent in your language progress with that. But let's talk about why seven minutes and seven seconds is all you need to get started with a language. First and foremost, for anything you do in life, routines are the cornerstone of success. So if you can stick with a routine, you're on a guaranteed path to mastering your language. And the seven minute, seven second rule gives you just that, a simple, specific routine. Put in just seven minutes and seven seconds a day, and when you're done, that's it. Here's what's so nice about the seven minute, seven second rule. First, it's good for your motivation. Think about it. When we think of learning language, we imagine spending hours learning a language, and this ruins our motivation, doesn't it? Or if you knew you had to write an essay and that it would take two hours, you wouldn't be too excited about starting it. Now imagine you had a stopwatch in front of you and you saw you had three more minutes to go. That doesn't feel so bad. And that's a major reason why this tactic works so well. It's not a serious commitment that you dread all day. You don't feel bad about it. And second, it's easy to do. There's no excuse not to find seven minutes and seven seconds in a day when a day is 1,440 minutes. So if you're walking or driving to the store for 10 minutes, you can easily put that time in. So think of the seven minutes and seven seconds rule as your small measurable goal for the day. It's the kind of goal that we often talk about setting. 
It's small enough to accomplish. It's measurable so that you know when you reach it. And all you have to do is hit that number every day and you're done. So if you have a tough time getting into a language learning routine, this is perfect for you. So what should you do? First, set a stopwatch to seven minutes and seven seconds and put it in the background. Then start learning. You can use whatever resources you already have to fill up that time. But if you're using our learning program, the first easiest thing you can do is learn with our audio and video lessons. They're usually between three and 15 minutes long. Just press play. Our teachers teach you a practical dialogue, they translate everything, and you can start speaking. If you're under seven minutes when the lesson is done, you can replay or review it, or you can move on to another lesson. Second, study with our spaced repetition flashcards. Since you have to be actively paying attention, this will be a bit harder than just taking lessons. But again, this is something you can sink seven minutes into. Third, you can read and review the lesson notes. Inside, you get the lesson conversation, grammar explanations, the vocabulary, and cultural insights. So just read through and put in the time. Once your stopwatch hits seven minutes and seven seconds, you're done. You're free. If you go over, that's okay too. But seven minutes, seven seconds is the minimum limit. Then repeat this tactic every single day and you'll realize how easy it is to maintain this routine. So if you've had a tough time sticking to a learning routine, give this a try. Want to speed up your language learning? Take your very first lesson with us. You'll start speaking in minutes and master real conversations. Sign up for your free lifetime account. Just click the link in the description.